Folks, Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard to the Margaret Campaign slash Tri Generational. You are in for a treat. If this is your first time here, eh, kind of uh, heavy duty content. So be forewarned. If you're back, welcome back. Uh, we appreciate that. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to shoot shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, like a phone case, throw a pillow. Uh, shower curtain, duvet, coming soon, maybe even a toilet, not sure. Uh, you can always throw a sticker on that. Uh, check out our swag shop. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot, like last night's Saturday group, or on the Tuesday talk show, hit us up at mhobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, we will get you on there. Uh, shout out to Pirate Dog Dice uh, for dice that really dealt out the punishment last night. So if you're looking for some custom dice at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells <laughs> like success and victory, uh, try some uh, Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. It will make your in-person games smell a whole lot better, especially if you've been working outside all day and uh, you're feeling kind of gamey. Uh, they also make the Shine system that will help you write gooder. So check that out. And their uh, How to RPG with Cat is about to go to Kickstarter. Just keep an eye out for that. If you're going to Gen Con, they could use a little booth help and they're willing to pay in money or swag. So if you're interested, at oddfishgames.com. Folks, this is the Margu campaign. We'll go ahead and get to the recap here in just a minute. Let's introduce you to the players who are going to make you shake your head for the next two hours. We will start with Jason. Jason, who are you? Who do you play? I am Copious Full Bitters the Third, Gnomish Witch, current pincushion. Um, he did, had a stroke of bad luck uh, when some folks couldn't distinguish between the well-known, well-dressed, well-coiffed copious volbitters and a scraggly group of gnome adventurer first level on the other side of the bridge. Just a minor problem. Minor problem. Minor problem. <laughs> that, I mean, that wasn't so bad. Um, senior member of our group is up next. Uh, Frank, who are you? Who are you I am uh, Leaf, the greatest lying druid there ever lived. I have no tolerance for any basic bullshit. And I definitely don't like halflings. Hate halflings. Uh, I warmed the cockles of my heart that Thank uh, you. August is going to take that with a grain of salt. Uh, next up is AJ. AJ, same question, different answers. I am Felix the Great. Not the greatest, I guess. Thank you very much, Leaf. Hey, no problem, and baby. I am playing uh, Felix, the half-human, or the human, half-rogue, half-druid, uh, gambling, drunken adventurer that can't tell the difference between copious and the gnomes when they're all downrange. See, this is not Felix's fault. You're downrange. That's not my problem. I got to concur with that. They all look the same, right? You, they all look the same. You I'm size sure racist. <laughs> what you can know, I say? Copious is everybody over three and a half feet tall. You all look the same. <laughs> Everybody under five feet tall, you all look the same. I'm just going to shoot. We're shooting at gnomes. What's the difference? That's true. Uh, next up, Frank. Uh, who are you? Who are you playing? I am Robert of Zeppelin. I am the uh, bard slash sorcerer, king of the fire. Leave no one behind alive. And, uh, you know, lover of death. The basic way, I, 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 and and I, I I don't have problems recognizing who the enemy is when it's I see gnomes. I just know to kill them. I I I, I would like to point out I didn't hit you once the whole time. Shot all around you. All Not around. for lack of trying. <laughs> hey, I feel if the dice say the face says you know hit a gnome that's right in front of you, the dice are going to make that happen. I can't control what the good god of dice wants. I just go with it. Wow. Uh, next up, the youngest member of the crew, Littlest Frank. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hello. I am Man Fang, the diplomat. Uh, I like to hit things. Hitting things is fun. Uh, talking is also fun. Uh, yeah, that's all you need to know about me, really. Are you in the I'm pretty fun at parties? <laughs> Hey, are you in the bedroom where James Conn got his ankle snapped by Kathy Bates? 
No. I Let's check it. If he only knew what oh, that yeah. meant. If I only knew what that meant, yeah. I was like, uh. We'll show you one scene in a movie, then you'll know. You will okay. never, ever forget. You will understand pain. You'll have a different feeling about that bed behind you afterwards. Whew. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, the gregarious, always talkative, <laughs> haggis crap stain. Nicholas, who are you? So, not so best for last, um, haggis crap stain. I think that was probably on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you still got your duck, or did you leave that back at the uh, work site? It's like, in it's a, in, it's a part of me. It's inside of me. I ate the duck. <laughs> Got it. Uh, <laughs> folks, these guys have, second uh, head is the duck head. <laughs> these, these guys have uh, gone back into the Chasm Peaks, the sunken mountain range, in search of the elusive and maybe even not even real uh, dragon horde. Uh, they did slay a red dragon a few sessions ago. Now they believe that the dragon had to have sat on a vast hoard of cash. Uh, they are seeking some coinage because the uh, government socialists are trying to take their roadhouse <laughs> that they uh, naturally fought back slash stole from the rightful right. owners after they were dead. Uh, good news is, though, they have found enough coinage to pacify their financial woes uh, while dealing with a roper in the cave last time. Well, Felix the Great tried to kill copious full bidders, mostly on accident. 70-30, 60-40, something like that. I was trying uh, to save the party. These guys do have a time frame in order to get to a foreign field, the capital of the halflings, in order to uh, fend off the Marxist socialist governmental entities from the Roadhouse Guild. Uh, they have to be in person, present in Thornfield on the 27th day. Uh, they are currently in the Chasm Peaks at the end of day four. Uh, gentlemen, it's uh, time to take a rest, I believe. Uh, you are poised a uh, tunnel coming in to a cavern where you killed the roper. There is an exit tunnel as well. Uh, this, at least for the time being, seems to be a defensible position. I believe it was Leaf who turned into a leopard or a cougar and checked to make sure that the other gnomes had vacated the area so as not to anger Robert of It Only Takes One Match. Uh, so... That being said, I know some of you have suffered some injury. Uh, did you want to continue to travel and make the best of it, or do you want to shack up here in this cave? What time of day is it? Uh, I'm showing 6 p.m.-ish. And just to uh, refresh everyone's memory, which day of the trek is it? Day four? four. End of day four. End of day four. Four in. <clears throat> And four out. Four in and four out. We're just guessing there's treasure. No, uh, you... no, 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 no. I guarantee that there's treasure. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, like a, a, a cave full of face huggers. That's treasure in his eyes, maybe. True. I, I think Felix is interested in just hanging out here for a couple of extra hours so he can break off some more of these stalactites and See if there's any more jewels. Sure. Uh, this area that you are in is currently a small passage through one of the chasm peaks, uh, a.k.a. through the mountain. Uh, Felix, was it you who scouted the far side? Uh, I was with... Felix Copious. didn't scout um, shit. He's been looking for treasure since he got in here. Yep. Uh, yep. Once, some, once those jewels fell out, that was all it took for Felix, and his mind no. has been there the whole time. That's why I've been shooting at Copious. Sure. So no one has uh, gone through the mountain area. We went there. with Leaf. Me, Felix, and Leaf. We we, yeah. we, we were we like were his searching. muscle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys found the exit tunnel uh, leading to yet another trail. Okay. A thing that goes down. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'll tell everybody what we found. Okay, uh, we can take a. What you want, Copious? I was going to say, feel. I think it was Felix and Copious both took a hard hit from that roper. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I, I'm less than half health. I can do some healing. Well, it's either that or we take no, a we rest didn't rest yet, did we? We haven't rested yet. So if we want to rest, this cave is semi-defensible. That's well, fine. If we, if we go down, then we could rest when we get there. Is it wait? Is it the bridge on fire? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure that was clear. Yeah. It was covered with grease, and I threw a flaming arrow into it. Can we, um, can we uh, like put the fire out? No, it is on fire. Right. Yeah, go out there and stomp it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's not in our business. Putting fires out. Come the good on. news is it's a stone bridge, so it's not like it's going to burn down. We think probably it might. Just, it, it puts it together. Then, you know, the th- bottom line is we don't really give a shit. We're not coming back this way. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> You just four in, four the... out doesn't sound right then. <laughs> oh, red meat to the bear. So the question is, we're going to have to take a rest. Otherwise, we're going to suffer penalties anyway. We, so we'll find land look, later. Look, look, I don't sure. care. We can do it either time. I, up I, inside the cave. I haven't been wounded. And I haven't really used much in the way of spells either. So, Well, we can go out then and see what it brings on the other side of the if cave. You guys well, have done it. We can what? explore out there. Do we way. have an idea what time it is? I didn't hear. 6 p.m. Okay. I'm still in. I can, I can go ahead. Whatever you want to do. Doesn't matter. We, if we want to trek out, but Cope is going to need a long rest or healing before <clears throat> the next day. That's the only piece. And Felix probably in the same boat. We can long rest now and, and get an early start. It's pretty dark down here any damn way at the yeah, bottom of this the, thing, so yeah, it doesn't is not matter. It's going to be a consideration, so yeah. No, so let's right, just take well, the rest take now. Long, let's take the long rest, Okay. then we'll venture on and relight everything. Right. Uh, give me three watchers. I did not suffer a lot. I'll watch. Okay, I got Leaf, I got Robert, and I got Haggis. Uh, Leaf, D12 against me. Okay, <laughs> 11. Robert. And I, I better turn some lights on. 12. August. Two. Uh, Leaf, during uh, your watch, I assume you're going to go back and forth from the front exit to the back exit in this cave, kind of patrolling. Yep. I. I just came in on the tail of that. Sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, you were the only one that I beat, even though you had an 11. Um, okay. The fire has gone out on the bridge. Okay. That is all. All right. Night, night passes uneventfully for all three ships. Uh, you rise the next morning, uh, get your jerky rations in. Uh, you can return from whence thou came, or you can continue to descend. I, w- I wish to descend. Uh, has everybody else up for that? We have no fear. Yep. Descend. Uh, you continue to move on. It starts to get kind of steep here, uh, and you're going into what is a kind of V-shaped gully. Uh, as you do so, everybody give me a perception check, please. 30-20. 30-20. 17-14. I got... A twenty-one. Everybody but Copius hears a scratching noise coming from the gorge. Uh, loose shale, smaller than what you're used to, uh, almost you know gemstone size. So not even something that's even going to hurt if it hits you. Uh, but the passage has a lot of it in there. It's almost like walking through a quarry. Uh, you walk for three hours uh, through this loose rock. It's it's kind of difficult terrain, so it slows you down a bit. But then it clears out because the sides fall away, which is really convenient. As you look to both left and right direction, it looks like this was a road maybe of some kind that just sunk. You are not sure why it's still here because glancing over the side somebody hanging onto your arm you can tell that it's only about 20 feet deep and then the chasm takes over uh still 
no sign of reaching the bottom. Uh, you do, however, reach a wishbone. Both branches descend at an equally sharp angle. Both branches are identical in that the world just falls away. So it's just a stone path. Any uh, sign um, of examining those stone paths, any sign of scuffs or there prints? Is a, or... There's a lot of old dirt here and no scuffing. Uh, who has light magic or who can, can cast light? Cast light on like a rock or something. Quiet, like maybe we just like. I can do it, so can your dad. All right, good. We'll toss one down each hallway from both of you so we don't use one person. <coughs> It doesn't use anything for me to cast it. All right. I'll let it. him do it then. Yeah. You want me to cast light? Is that what I heard? Yep. Throw it down each hallway just to see if there's like anything noticeable, more noticeable. When throw All right. I'm down. going to grab rocks. Okay. So it's, this is a cantrip. Is that casting magic? Do we need to roll? Yep. We got to roll. Oh. Nobody stands <laughs> in front of me. One. Three. There, Fireball, uh, you light up the entire hallway. You uh, cast your magic to no ill effects, which is rare. Uh, <laughs> however... It takes the fun out of it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, we got to do it twice. I'm yeah. casting light on one and throwing it this way, casting light on another and throwing it the other way. You know, Fireball, you obliterate the second hallway. Go too early there, Leaf. Three is a double. <laughs> You know, it's a, a it's a cantrip for me too, but I'd rather see you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-seven. Uh, yeah, I think you've had this before. For the next minute, all of your spells with a casting time of one action have a casting time of one bonus action. Oh, so I get to cast two spells now. You're welcome. Yep. My a genius idea gave you a better some yeah, help. It's not. It's not as long as you think when you're not in combat. <laughs> yeah. Can we see anything? No, We're going to be in combat at some point. Everybody, you know. give me perception. Who's looking to the right? And then I'll do the left here in a second. I'll look to the right. I'll look Five, to the right. And I have an eighteen. That's seven for me. Twenty-three. 16. I'm and looking at one I'll, rock. Well, I'll look left then. If everybody I'll else looks right, I'll look left. I'll look left. Yeah. So who are my rights? Everybody on the two and three? Okay. Uh, you guys hear water. Uh, and the light from the stone disappears once it goes underwater. And the light, Do we have an estimate of how far down that water is? We have an estimate where we see the rock disappear. <laughs> Yeah, about, a, like, about 150 feet, it looks like. Okay, so pretty far. Pretty far. On the left, Copious and Leaf, you guys uh, see inky darkness. I mean, it's as dark as it's been. It's like you're staring into the abyss. Uh, how, <clears throat> and what were your numbers on your roll? 27. <clears throat> Natural 20. Both of you are pretty sure something is moving out of it. Towards us or? Kind away? of ahead of you. Because you were at the wishbone. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere up ahead, it looks like something is moving out of the abyss. So, Copious, how long can you tread water? I am a cliff diver. Um, no water on the left side. Yeah, I know, but I'm thinking we need to go right. That's why. <laughs> well, so <laughs> I want to know what's down there. So the rock that Robert threw down yep. there just showed this light silhouette of something. It disappeared as soon as it went down there. Yep. Okay. Oh, leaf. As, as it so descended, bad. you're pretty sure you, you saw to, something move. Want me to convert and run down the hill and see what... Uh, well, I'm wondering if I can... Wait, is this steep enough to where you could run down it, but you can't run back up? So how many stone do you weigh? I'll be tired. About a stone. I know. Okay, well, how about I turn into a, a big cat? You can just climb on my back and ride down. Well, I'm, I'm wondering... Here's the, here's the <laughs> thing. Is I'm, I'm seeing this thing move through the darkness, and it likes darkness. Yeah. 
I would say I could probably stealth my way down there unless I really bungle it. But this thing's probably looking in the dark using like infrared or something. And it's going to spot me no matter what I try to do to go down. The infrared street. or s- it's smell. And let's or face it. Echolocation or- I've not met a gnome yet that didn't smell. I so I'm kind of thinking. Funny. Yeah. That's why the capital is so foggy. I, I, can, I, can <laughs> generate, I can generate light, too, when I just put that on your armor and you go down and that way you'll light the way and scare <laughs> I don't, it off. I don't wear armor. So <laughs> no, that's not going to help. No, I know. <laughs> How put about, it on his chest like wait, Iron Man. Wait, wait, Leaf, Leaf, I've got yeah. it. Put a light <laughs> spell on, on Felix's codpiece. Whoa. So it'd be like a lamprey. With That'd be like a giant, oh, that's just what we need. It'd be like a giant spotlight, wouldn't it? Or one of those wow. little pin lights you get on your on your keychain. I feel like just it would be more like a little pin light. A little pin light on the keychain? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Definitely Felix. not a search light. Felix. Like a laser here. pointer. Come mm-hmm. here, Felix. I've got to go ahead and cast a spell, a cantrip. Sure. You want me to do it while I'm casting on <laughs> Felix? Like, make a spell? <laughs> I do Fireball. Robert. Robert. If you get a fireball, you're nuts. And gonna you can make it bigger. Yeah, I got you. Fireball. How much does that? How much does that illuminate? Anyway, it's quite a bit, isn't it? As an FYI, I did have to go get a blank piece of paper for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Ah, great. Twenty foot <laughs> radius and dim light for an additional twenty feet. Okay. I, I, I'm gonna. I will cast it on a rock and pick the rock up. Let's make our way down the hill. Turning the copious? Yeah. Uh, we'll tell everybody else what we saw. Yeah. I, copious will go let Robert and the rest know uh, there's something down there that like ate the light. How far did that go? The same, far? Distance, same distance? 75 feet. 75 feet down. By the way, Copious is casting shadow okay. armor. I, I, I'll cast right. bonfire down there. I get 60 foot out of it, and it, then it goes another five foot and reach. See if we can see it. Um, yeah, uh, but I can also, if you want to, before you cast the bonfire, I've got one that I can move. If I can find it. Hey, Felix, Here. how's your swimming skill? Here. Um, not good. But Dang not bad. No, no. I could cast Thunderclap and see if I can scare it away. Yeah, no. Whales are natural divers. You can... Yo, he yeah. put us <laughs> into a whale. <laughs> you get there a lot faster. <laughs> you know, you know one, of whale, days, one of these days, one days, I'm going to be level 15, and I'm turning into a damn whale. <laughs> oh yeah, flaming spear, Frankie. Spear, spear. It only lasts for a minute. That's not long enough. Never mind. Never mind. We might only need a minute. We're, how about we do if it attacks it? I, Let's, I'm will, <laughs> wait. I'm willing to, if nobody's cast light down the hallway yet, I will try to stealth at least a little ways and listen as intently Go ahead. as possible. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done anything yet. And you you will be stealthy. dead on center for the flaming sphere. So go ahead and use your stealth roll. I have still right, too. If you need on the hit. back of your head to give us a target, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't hit him. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Seventeen. Oh yeah, you're you're sneaky as hell. Uh, you know, you've got moccasins on or something. <laughs> you're moving on. How far do you want to go down there? Seventy-five <laughs> feet. No, not seventy-five feet. <laughs> well, remember, it was seventy-five feet this way, not this way. You're on the path. Did you want to dive over the side? No, I want to stay on the, the path. You said you're a cliff diver. Yeah, but there's no water down there. You don't know that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Turn into a whale, get gotta, big, and like, then slide I, down. There's I think if big. you, I think once you reach the sixth level of hell, there's water somewhere. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like. Uh, or, it's, or it's really stale beer, one or the other. Cast um, a feather fall on yourself. I don't have feather fall. I want to go about 25 feet, which is my movement for one round and see if I can hear whatever. You hear them arguing back and forth on why are you going to put light on my cod piece? Why don't you put it on your head? Uh, don't do flaming spear. Where's copious? <laughs> I don't know. I think we can do it down the left side. You hear just general confusion. 
Uh, but give me a perception roll anyway to see if you hey, hear. Somebody anything. throw a keg down there. When it explodes, I'll cast fire on it. Then it'll light up the whole area. I don't hear anything. Cool. Felix, I figured I better not say that one out loud. Probably not. No, no. no, no. If, if I walk that far and I don't hear anything, and I'm going, I'm listening, and uh, and we thought it was the, the whatever we heard came from the side, right? Heard or saw? Saw. Yes, came from the side. Um, I'll move one more round farther down the tunnel, another 25 feet. I'll take another perception check. Two. Oh my God. 11. I still can't roll anything. This perception roll is killing me. <laughs> uh, what are you five doing? I'm watching him try and well, watch watched the way he went. I well, he's Dude, going 50 see. feet into the darkness. I'm going to start moving down behind him. I want, I want, I'm and stealthy. I'm not, I'll go too. Yeah, I'm not necessarily stealthy. I have plus 11. All I can hear is John Philip Sousa music. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there, brother. Uh, so Leaf and Haggis, give me your stealth rolls. Yeah, I got a plus one. Hell. Well, that's 14. 29. I didn't uh, kick too many rocks. Haggis, you're pretty sure Leaf has 4,000 coins in his pocket. And they're all genuine <laughs> at the same time. Uh, but you're pretty sure you can't be heard, uh, mostly because when I talk to somebody next to me at a stadium, they really can't hear me either. <laughs> uh, you, guys, you guys move down. It is, it is kind of steep, but the footing's decent. Uh, and you catch up to Copius, who has his finger all the way to the elbow up into his ear trying to get whatever wax buildup out. Uh, I will take perception checks from Leaf and Haggis. It's the ring on, baby. by the roper. That's a 21. Uh, right, that's, that's a natural 20. I'm sorry. I got a plus one. Uh, you guys hear uh, flapping of leathery wings. Um, mm. And that leads us to Robert, Man, Fang, and Felix for initiative. Oh, I, wonder oh. should, I wonder if we should yell down the hole what they're doing. Just I think we should have gone the right way. Why? Five. Dragon hordes down this way, man. You say 16? Come on, Haggis. Five? <laughs> wow. 16 for me. There you go. Man thing? <laughs> One. <laughs> and this the dice have gone Good. back to the right order. <laughs> how, many did you, how many did you kill off last night? <laughs> Half of them. Oh, boy. This is where you die. Uh, Three of us are not going to come back. Felix, Robert, and Manfang, give me perception checks. Tell me ones we get. 15. 16. <laughs> Robert? My rolls have returned to me. 16 for me. Uh, Felix and Robert, you hear the flap of leathery wings as several swarms of large bats come up and over the side and directly attack all three of you. Uh, so we will start with Felix. Fireball, Robert, fireball. Uh, 19. Robert? Can, I, can, you, can you catch on fire in midair, or does it have to be on seven? the surface? It'll drop to the surface. Wow. And seven. Uh, so does 19 get you, Felix? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, man, it's a vampire bat. Oh, I, nobody said vampire. Oh, nobody shit. Said, nobody. Uh, six damage as uh, you get notches into your neck. Now, and can I uncanny dodge that since I saw them coming at me? You heard them coming at you. You didn't heard see them coming, them coming at me? Yeah, so no, not this round. Uh, now you're Robert, a vampire. Now he must kill you. Now you can live in darkness forever. Robert, you're up. Running hands. You better cauterize Felix wound before he turns. I figured that. We'll heat up the tip of his sword and shove it in there. All What's right, the pants. Uh, Dex save uh, 11. Uh, 11 on the nose with plus two. So 13. Well, I guess they saved half damage, is it? Yep. I rolled a 20. 
So 10? Yep. And then I rolled magic. Now the giant fireball. One. Roll hey, it. fireball. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now this probably is thunder The wound has been cauterized. 12. Roll a d20. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that give me no encouragement whatsoever? You turn into a mouse. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Uh, five. Felix, uh, you're up. Uh, just to your side, you notice uh, Dine Chuck, uh, Robert is growing at an astronomical rate. <laughs> oh, no. In the cave? Oh, oh no. Geez. Oh, jeez. I know Apache that I Apache Chief had... has returned. Hey, uh, am I still get, have two spell action points? Or did that, because it's when I cast the stone. Oh, yeah. Now one minute's passed. Okay. Uh, uh, Co Copious used two rounds to get down there. And oh, then, sorry. Unfortunately, I only have the potion that makes things even bigger, not the potion of shrinking. So, sorry, Alice in Wonderland. You're going to keep getting bigger. For uh, some reason, I would never expect Felix to have a potion of shrinkage. Yeah, why would I have that? Come yeah, on. I, why would he need that? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to attack these bat creatures that are attacking us sure. with uh, short swords. Benny Hanna, that shit. Uh, is a nine enough to hit him? Nope, 12 what is about, the magic number. What about 18? Okay, so 18 hits for yep. oh, four damage. Woohoo! Man Fang. Wow. Me. Okay. I'm going. They're, they're not in melee range, right? Or are they? They are. They're All right. Yeah, they came up and over the. Uh, Passage. Put those over there. Oh, that's a nineteen. That hit. All right. That's a critical, son. You roll. Yeah, that is a critical. Twenty is critical. Yep. And nineteen is a critical for me. And then don't do the second plus, attack. That'd be six plus eight would be. Oh, uh, numbers and math. Numbers and math. Numbers and math. That'd be fourteen. Did that hit? Uh, yes, both hit. So both of them hit. One's a critical. Yep. All right, what do I do if I get critical? Damage, damage, modifier. All right, so that's eight. That's eight again. Plus 16. five. So that's 16 plus five. That's 19. No. 16 no. plus five is not 19. No, it's not. It's not. It's 21. There you go. I messed it up. It's 21. It's that new math, Frank. That common yeah. core math right there. And then seven plus five. Is 12. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then you, Benny Hanna, your swarm, and there's nothing but uh, bat guts and wings just fall right to the ground. Uh, Leaf, Copious, and Haggis, give me another perception that, check. That was a great axe. He doesn't have swords. He's swinging a great axe. Like I did a spin. He's just spinning it around. 27. 22. Like Leonardo, I'm just spinning at my staff, wherever he had. 14. Uh, Haggis, Copious and Leaf, you hear the sounds of combat up the trail where your associates are. Leaf, Copious, you hear like crystal on crystal coming from in front of you. Uh oh. It's I'm going to. Uh, uh, are, have we caught up with uh, Copious by any chance? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to whisper, a stage whisper to Copious. Hey, Copious. Stage I'm whisper. Want to cast light on this rock and toss it down the trail ahead of us, see if we can get a look at what's it, uh, coming. Can I hear him? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, okay. yeah. You know, yeah. Lee, he's not quiet. Stage, <laughs> stage <laughs> whisper <laughs> means everybody. Hey, you guys, <laughs> everybody in the back of the auditorium can hear a stage whisper. Okay, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'll cast. I'll cast light and on a rock. So and, I, if he's doing that, I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to whisper. Normal whisper sounds like a good idea, and then I'm going to try to quietly and get behind me. Get behind him. <laughs> I, I, what if you cast a light on this arrow and I shoot it? Well, we don't know how far the arrow is going to go. And this doesn't sound like it's that far away. Oh, okay. So Especially when we cast light, light we realize it's like a foot and a half out. <laughs> and none, none of our night vision, can we can't see it, anything, right? I, no, I want to know if I'm going to stand here or if I'm going to run over copious on my way back up the freaking path. Mm-hmm. He's a sprinter. He's just Jesse Owens level sprinter. You're going to find that out in here in a minute. Yeah, first okay. you have to PBA that rock down the uh, tunnel yeah, and I will. Not, not throw it over the side. So give okay. me your attack roll with dexterity. All right. With dex? Yep. Because you're throwing it. Uh, what do I use for the attack roll on that? Or just roll a uh, die 20? Die 20. Die 20. Die 20. Die 20. I'm sorry. All right. Add your dex bonus. 17. We understand you're new to this game, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never thrown anything like that before. <laughs> Sorry. You need to start throwing the halfling at it. Uh, well, you, I'll be all right with that. You uh, take it, line up your shot, give it a nice roll. The stone is just cascading light everywhere, and then it comes to a stop as some kind of arachnidian foot holds it down, the entire thing looks like it is translucent, like it's made out of glass. It rolls it towards it, and of course, it's multifaceted eyes lock it cool. on you guys. Excellent. Uh, and it moves forward, and tink, tink is that noise that you heard. So it's a giant uh, glass spider. Pretty Crystal. much. Crystal. And it is... 60 feet away and charges. Well, so what? We roll initiative here? You guys can roll initiative or you can turn to hey, and run like hell. Where in the hell did Copious go? He's going to shoot Eldritch Blast between your legs. Well, um, think about it. If we run back, yeah. it might be too big to get through the hole we came in to get in. We so didn't like, come in a hole, did that we? Was three hours but, ago. <laughs> no, 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 dude. No, we're, we're at the bottom of a chasm, basically. We're not in a cave. We're not in a hole. Correct. Okay. Yeah, we could. So, no, this thing, that cave. size is, size in this case, Felix, does not matter. <laughs> Strictly. Wait, where's Apache Chief? But if we get back up to the top of this hill, he can step on know, this thing. We've got a little. Yeah, I was about to say, room. no matter what, that hole is filled right now. So, yeah, you're not so, going uh, away either way. I, if it's, I'm going to cast Entangle and turn and run back up the path. Oh, you missed your Thunder Wave chance. It's Crystal. It probably takes double damage. Yeah. Well, I'll do that shit when I get to the top of the hill where I can hide behind Robert, man. I ain't doing it down here. 17 is its role. 17? Yeah. Oh, and my, uh, uh, what you call it is, let's see, a straight saving throw. Oh, it's, I'm sure it's got a plus on that. What's its magic? If that's against my magic thing, it's 16. So, yeah, yeah, it it saves. Yeah. Okay. So, it's, it's coming out. It frees itself. Uh, Haggis and Copius, are you hauling the mail? Are you going to stick around and see what Leaf does? Uh uh. I am, I am over spiders after that last little thing with spiders. Yeah. Copious is the last little thing. We've had spiders right and left every time we go any damn place around. Ever here. since we went deeper into this freaking country, we keep running into spiders. Especially August, in these mountains. Uh, I guess uh, you can hear chariots of fire in the background <laughs> as Copious hauls ass past you. Of course, Haggis, being a young man, has no idea what you just said. I know what that is. I know what that song is. Have you seen that? Okay. No, no. 
Well, the movie, they're, ra- they're runners. Oh, okay. It, it, could I cast something and then run? Uh, you can. Leaf is in between you and the thing. Oh, I'm kind of smaller than him, so I kind of... Oh, yeah. he's going he's gonna to technical shot between his legs. Don't do <laughs> <really> it, <angry. laughs> yes, this, this it's, it's, it's a good hey. idea. But that ain't, that ain't an uvula hanging down there. Don't be, don't be making a mistake here, son. <laughs> well, either way, you're gonna vomit if it, like, if you touch it. So, like, yeah. what spell are you using? Um, a witch bolt is an auto hit. I don't know. Um, well, you got to hit it first. Witch then it's an auto hit. Auto- you still and don't roll a damn one. Dex, it's your okay. Yeah, roll your attack first. He's known all throughout this land of halflings for his dexterity. 19. 19 hits it. Okay. One die 12. Damage? One die 12 electrical. Nine. Uh, let's see, in a crystal being? Nine electrical. I don't know. Hey, do I add desk? Do I roll a desk? I say ro- just add anything you can, please. I don't know what to add. <laughs> what, what, what dice do I roll? Hey, you knew your spells and you're on your thing. It'll tell you you're going to roll a 20 side dice. You rolled a dice to hit, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. you hit it. Plus eight you plus your damage, which is die whatever level you're yeah. casting at. Eight. He said die 12. Nine. Die 10, whatever it is. Die 12. So he's rolling a die 12. Oh, uh, he'll just say 30. 18. So he's what? cast the second level then. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Do I roll dex? It doesn't say that. No, no, you just says, you hit it. You you hit the hit. thing. You're just okay. now, now you're you're rolling d12 damage. Okay. One d12 for every level you choose. So if you're going to make it a third level spell, you lose a third level slot, but you roll three d12. Okay, I don't, I don't care about that. You should care about that. Yeah, Not you got to be, you gotta be level careful. Slot. I rolled a seven and an eleven, and then the first one was a nine, so eighteen plus the nine, twelve. Right. So you're casting as a third level spell, correct? Yeah. So scratch out one of your third level spell slots, and you're okay. Uh, and then do you take off and run? Yes. Uh, back up to the top with Apache Chief Man Fang and Felix. Uh, Man Fang has uh, dumped his swarm. Uh, Felix, your swarm uh, says six, so that's a miss. Uh, but a 19 on Robert uh, oh, plus four uh, is going to hit. No, I'm 24 AC. Oh, okay. Then it does How not. How the hell do you guys have the AC so high? Mine's at 15. Because uh, right. we're just because we're just better than. How you? is yours at eighteen? Yeah. Mine's at seventeen. Mine's at fifteen. Oh. Get good, man. Uh, the 18? armor, this my is training, and my shield. <laughs> I cast a lot of spells and not use weapons. I don't care what you guys say. That latex armor that I have on is not helpful. <laughs> I thought is. that only covered a one little part of it. Uh, not in this situation. It's it's, not. It's, they're, it's the latex is assless chaps. <laughs> it's plus three against disease. Wow. Uh, Robert, oh, you are the size of a Goliath. Help, help, help. Give me a perception check. All right. Perception sucks. Perception was great. And then it rolled one more. Uh, 13. Uh, enough to notice there are cracks forming underneath your feet uh, because you are now Goliath size. Spread out, spread out your weight, go flat. Uh, jump on the go prone, go prone, go prone. Jump on the spider, jump on the spider, Oliver. They don't know the spider's coming yet. <laughs> How long does this last? Does he know this growing thing? I don't know, but I'm crawling up his leg as soon as I get there. <laughs> Where are you gonna hide? So are we are we still at like the V right now? What? Yes. And I'm back here at the we'll just say the crotch of the V. Correct. Yeah. That's the where is gonna is gonna be be you are in the crotch of the wishbone. <laughs> You're the eye back. <laughs> All right, I'm 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 casting a spell. Can't go wrong. 
I rolled one. Ooh, another one. There you we go. Oh, did you roll a one? Yeah. Yep. You grow double the size. You are now growing even faster. So what spell are you casting? Uh, I was going to cast light and touch a freaking one of these in the ceiling to get the <laughs> light going on in here. There's no ceiling. There's, there's, there's no ceiling. This yeah. is open. Whatever. We're not in a cave. No, no wall. You're oh, on, I a, thought we're on a trail. Oh. Nothing around us? No. Nope. Well, chasm. Hey, I want chasm, <laughs> inky darkness, and water, apparently. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, and it, and the trail below us is crumbling. Well, it's me. cracking right now. Well, then I guess I'm casting a fireball <coughs> on freaking bats that are in my face. Sure. Ninety-seven is what I rolled. <laughs> I don't like it when he laughs. Uh, I hate it when he does. It's not that. a good sign. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> is he growing again? No, he's not growing again. I'm That's kind of him. funny, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's not funny. Uh, you know what? And I've made my choice. So how much damage did you do? Well, if I'm casting Fireball and I'm this size, does, it, does the damage grow a little? No. Uh, melee weapons would have a difference in damage. But, uh, I was curious. Could you just yeah. clap the bats just... Of course, your melee weapon's not growing, so it's going to be you out there with a toothpick swinging it shit. Uh, I was going to ask, are, are, are his clothes growing? Cool. His clothes are, are growing. Eight. <laughs> How much? Eight? Eight. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, oh, your shield's growing. Swing your shield. As you cast your spell, <laughs> you hear Highway to Hell playing as a faint ethereal music for the next minute. <laughs> so you're like in an elevator. It's Highway to Hell as Muzak. Uh, Felix, you can hear it. Manfang, you can hear it as well. Uh, I assume Copious Leaf and Haggis were sprinting, right? All I hear is my own breath, panning. Uh, you guys will cut it in half so that First round, you'll be humping it. You will get back to the crotch of the wishbone. You will hear, and you know, I almost picked a different song just to let you know. Oh. Oh. I'd have to make insanity rolls. You know, uh, you need to record that somewhere so you can turn that on every once in a while when he rolls a 97. Nobody wants to hear me record music. No, <laughs> absolutely not. That's why you need to do it. I need to I find somebody she likes to sing. I bet she would sing it. Uh, maybe. Uh, copious leaf haggis. Give me a perception check. 19, 22, 21. All three of you realize that uh, the giant candy bar version of Robert of Zeppelin is the source of the music but he's almost twice the size that he was uh his armor is growing not at the same rate so he's the gut he's kind of wearing the crop top now uh so it's not you know really attractive yeah charisma and you didn't realize that he had a piercing until just now which is kind of weird uh but you guys get up there <laughs> is it a barbell <laughs> The teardrop, he's classy like that. Uh, you guys will not be able to attack this round because you're we're laughing like, too hard. You're laughing too hard. You're trying to warn him, but both Felix and Robert have bats circling around them. Uh, clearly, this was the leathery items that you heard. Okay, Felix, you're up. Get a Benny Han on my way again. Yeah. Uh, 15 and dirty 20, both hit. Both hit. Uh, one for six and the other for seven, so 13 damage. Still upright. Uh, Man Fang, uh, what you gonna do? Me? Okay, so the bat, my bats are dead. I killed them. Um, I noticed that he's growing. I, did Felix take out his back yet? Are they gone? Or are they still... 
No, but because Robert is so large, you can't get to Felix. Oh, good. Ah, I was going to apply some medical help if you needed it, but... Oh, thank you. It's your lucky day, Felix. <laughs> Anything medical help usually leads to death. I know. Yeah. That's why I'm glad that you're between us. What could I do? You could help Did I just note, Robert, I can't reach to where he's at. Are the bats like up by his face and he's just. Yeah. Well, you got a missile weapon, don't you? You can I got a ricochet bow. one off his dome. <laughs> yeah. Right into his eye. You know what? Let's do that. Thanks, Frank. How far really away are they? That. Are they far enough away that I could still hit it with a longbow? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like... Okay. I'm going to aim at him. <laughs> Right. Roll, let's roll. I, let's see if I hit him. That's an 18. Yes. And that is a 19. I am rolling like a god. Oh, wait, no. Is, do I get two, hex, two hits only with my great axe? Just your great axe. Just my great axe? Okay, right. then that's just one hit. Um, 18. Roll your damage. That's a 9 plus 4. No, that's not plus 4. Is it still strength or is it like um, something else? It should say on your paper. Okay. So it should have your damage dice plus eight plus one die eight. Mm-hmm. Is this a die? This is which one's a die eight? Is this it? Or is the double four? The double four. That's not a die eight, son. That's a die eight. Time travel. <laughs> I know, right? Plus one piercing. That was Captain Gates, just the one in that bedroom. <laughs> that is a seven plus one that is eight close close uh some bats fall to the ground uh felix and man thank give me perception rules 14 one uh felix uh you're too involved in the bats uh you're trying to figure out what the backstory is and where robin is and all that man fang you notice that there are fissures starting to emerge from below gigantor there wait what are starting to emerge fissures break cracks in the rock oh, okay my there's too many syllables in that word i couldn't understand it um okay I'm going to shout nope. at him. You've already gone. I'm just letting oh, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, I know this, then I'm all right. Okay, then. Uh, new round. Okay. I'm going to move. Uh, I'm going to need Copious, Leaf, and Haggis to give me initiative rolls, please. 19. Oh, 18. I got a plus on that. Wait a minute. 22. 20. Dirty 20. What was yours, Copious? 18. Okay. So everybody is here. There are two swarms of bats. The crystal spider is closing in. Uh, dur- or 22. Haggis. Dirty. You are in between Leaf and Copious running up the incline, being chased by the crystal spider. You see... Gigantor, two swarms, and Manfang trying to shoot the apple off Robert's head. What do you want to do? Maybe we should tell them or yell to them there's a spider behind us. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> I know you guys are busy right now, but there's a big uh, spider coming behind us right now. Now, you also notice that because Robert has grown so much that you, you three, and Felix are closer to the crotch of the wishbone and can still go down the right way. Uh, Manfang, no bueno, he's on the wrong side of the cracks. So, Haggis yells, Leaf, dirty 20, you're up. I'm going to uh, cast Lightning Bolt. That's a deck save for your spider. Uh, Wait, can you still see the spider? Was it like still chasing them? Oh, it still chased them. Oh, okay. Uh, 11 plus 2, 13. That won't do it. I'm going right. to channel divinity, too. You take 54 points. Oh, nice. That might actually hurt me. But you know what? It does hurt. 
Notice he didn't say kill. Yeah. It's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah. lot Not of damage. damage. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of damage. That's like a little over half of it. Uh, you blast it for 50 hit points. It already had 27. So now it's got 77 hit points of damage. D12 against me, Leaf. That'd be 54 hit points. It's nine dice six. Gotcha. Full damage. Uh, D12. Nine. Uh, I had four. The good news is uh, you don't have to kill the crystal spider because it is going down as the left trail crumbles away uh, from the ripples of the lightning bolt. Uh, Leaf, it gets to about five feet of you and stops. So you have now created an 18 foot gap to the left side. We're Hold on, I'll lay down. down. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, now just step across. 18 <laughs> copious you and I tied, I will let you do It's going to be funny when he, when he lays down across to become a bridge and then that's when he decides to shrink. That's when yeah. Frank would do it. <laughs> yeah, he would. Right when they you guys would. about halfway across. Fighter's gone. Perception check. Good thing you asked. <laughs> 18. There is a slender, silvery piece of ropish material right at the ledge by Leaf's feet. As you look over, Cut the rope. Cut, cut the it. Rope. Cut it. Um, it's already is it set it on fire. On the, is it climbing no, on the web. I'll, I'll let you shoot it. I'll let you try to cut Wait, it. Is it climbing on the, well, on the, on I the do web? Actually on the have, I do actually have my – I summoned my weapon before we went down the dark hallway, so I'll try to cut the spider web. If I, if I can get a swing and access to cut it, if not, I'll shoot the spider with Eldritch Blast. Your choice. You, you could probably do either. All right, I'll try to I'll try to cut the web. Sure. Hit it. Um, with bonus uh, eleven. Mm. He's not uh. a spider. He's seeing the spider's web. Technically, I'll, yeah. I'll give it. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Uh, you snap it. <clears throat> the spider begins to descend. Uh, and squirts something out of its snout because uh, it has like a tank gun. Uh, oh. One to four, copious one, leaf two, hagas three, the ledge four. Does it shoot out a copy version of itself, just smaller? Four. Uh, ledge. The, the ledge. The, the uh, piercing shard. Shard. Damn. Uh, 13 plus 7 is a dirty 20, connects and reverberates a lot of the stones right there at the edge where the lightning bolt hit, shimmer, and over the side, uh, you see a fissure starting to create with leaf here and you here. Uh, that fissure's cutting right in between you. It appears as though one of those two pieces is going to bite it. At the very same time, uh, Felix and Robert... Uh, Robert, your swarm is really in bad shape. Felix, uh, seven plus three, uh, 13 plus three against Robert. So both are misses. Uh, 16 is up next. That is Robert. All right. Well, we're Robert, gonna... first, uh, give me a perception check. Perception. Uh, 25. Have you ever stepped on like an old window when it's on the ground and you just kind of <clears throat> drop yeah. a little bit? Yeah, that's what you're feeling right now. All right. Uh, is there any way to start moving down the other path? Sure. Uh, the swarm will get an attack of an opportunity or attack of opportunity, but you can push Felix out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't step over him. And run like hell. Now you aren't that tall. Damn He's it. a human. Now you could have stepped over Copius or Hoggis. 
All right. Uh, screw it. I'm going to do one more cast. <sighs> no, I'm going to step away. I'm going to keep, I'm going to walk. Okay. Walk or take off? Well, not running. A little big to be running. Long steps. Uh, five plus three is not going to hit you on the opportunity of attack. So they will move off to a different victim. Uh, speaking of different victims, Felix, you're up. <laughs> All right. I still got these bats around me, I think, right? You do indeed. Oh, they are geez. hurt. They are hurt. They're half the swarm they used to be. Well, they're, one of them hits for seven damage again. The other one misses. Not a whole lot of bats left in your group. Uh, Man Fang, Robert has, you know, I should have made him roll dexterity, but uh, Robert has taken off down the right trail. Right trail, I assume, Robert? Yeah, my dexterity roll is 21. All right, you sure you don't want to go down the left? Kind of Which one was the one that over? just fell apart? I, the, the left. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know what's going down on the left, so I'm just going to roll die four. Odd we go right, even when I go left. And the roll is, it's odd. So that was right. Okay, so you're going down the right one. Uh, so Man Fang Gap has opened up. Uh, there are two swarms of bats still here. Somebody's yelling about <laughs> spider, spider, spider. There's a loud crack of lightning. Uh, so you're kind of whoosh, lightning blind a little bit. Uh, you're kind of deaf. You're not really sure what's going on, but you see your associates. You see two swarms. What do you want to do? I will assess the situation. I'll take a moment <laughs> to assess. You're there such you a penis. I've been blinded. Oh, I better assess what I'm doing. I'm going to assess the situation completely. Top of the order, Haggis. Uh, Robert the Large uh, is running down the right path. Walking. Uh, I said walk, I was just moving. Walking. walking not running. His, his swarm uh, has opted to go after Man Fang. There's another swarm on Felix. Uh, but Robert is strolling away down the right path you believe your associates have taken care of the crystal spider you are unaware of the separation of the pinnacle that they are on the precarious pinnacle that they are on well i say we go down the right path which is where i'm going to go okay you head off uh dirty 20 leaf Uh, you know, I'm going to move back up to a little bit solider, if there is such a thing, ground than what case. I'm standing on right now. D12 against me. 10. Or uh, you managed to move your piece of slate, shale, rock, whatever. Doesn't seem to be crumbling yet. Okay. Uh, Ty, Copious, I'll let you go first. So we just have the swarms left. Yes. And do I have a line of sight on one from where I would be relative to how Roberts moved off and Felix? Yes. All right. I'm going to shoot swarms, Eldritch Blast, uh, same swarm, whichever one's closer. Felix is, is closer. All right. Hey, Felix. It's payback time. You I look like a swarm to me, bitch. <laughs> I did not intentionally roll this poorly, but I did not roll a one. So I rolled 12 and I rolled a 14, which is about as low as I can get without rolling a one. Uh, 12 and 14 both hit. So we'll take it. All right. Uh, nine points and nine more points. So guts, total. guts and wings shower down on Felix. However, copious D12 against me. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, you lost, Felix. The rock <laughs> uh, does not hold steady. Give me an acrobatics check. Jump into my arms there, Copious. Uh, well. 
You rolled a twelve. Yes. Or you rolled a one. You know, there it is. You know it's coming. Uh, the rock separates into a fork-like move, and you slide down into it, receiving substantial cuts along both sides until your jaw cracks into the corner and you feel yourself wedged tightly uh, into this mess, uh, you will suffer 2d8 worth of slice damage. A chip tooth. <laughs> I want a Kirk Russell, like a uh, chip tooth. Yeah. Uh, 15 hit points as Dang. you feel the blood pour out. Uh, I will give you one to two cleft chin, three to four, three, a missing tooth, four, D4 missing teeth. <laughs> Dang, man. So I'm rolling die four? Yep. No, roll die six. And if you roll a five or six, you look like man thing. Very good. Uh, you Look get sick. your cleft chin. Kirk. Now it's or, Kirk Copious. Or, or the uh, uh, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Uh, the cut. scar, yeah. Uh, but you are wedged. My goatee won't comb right now. You, you are wedged like this, so no magic, no melee. Is he uh, bleeding out? Uh, does He's anybody bleeding. need to urinate before we move on? No, but uh, I'm going to vote for Manfang to do the medical procedure. I was at, the, at the same time, however, Felix, you aren't out of the woods yet. Uh, 16 plus 3, 19. Oh, yeah. And Robert. That's right or, no, right Manfang, through my latex armor. Uh, a 2. So uh, you're only suffering 1d4, and that's only two hit points of damage, Felix. So what exactly did you cast, Jason? Eldridge Blast. Eldridge Blast. Oh. Eldridge, uh, look it up, the yang yang. Uh, Robert, you are strolling away. Haggis is following you. I was trying to get down a little bit, just enough so that it's, is it still cracking under me right at this point? D12 against me. It's cracking. The Kraken. Hoggis, give me a perception roll. Oh. DM, DM's unleashed the Kraken. Seventeen. Uh, you see, uh, everywhere Thug walks, it's starting to crack. <laughs> Guys, um, the ground's kind of cracking, so we should probably head on the right side, right, really quickly. That's okay. where it's cracking. That's where it's cracking. Oh, Five um, is up next. There is no left side. <laughs> no, no left side. No, there Felix, is. It's eight feet, 18 feet away. <clears throat> Felix, it's up to you. You don't have a swarm. Manfang has a swarm. Robert and Haggis are fiascoing down the right side. The left side, all you see is copious, and you can tell his feet are like a duck <laughs> underneath the ledge. <laughs> He will not be able to free himself without falling to his death. Oh, you know, Man Fang was so kind to me earlier. I think I will return the favor and help him by Benny Hunting his form. You're welcome. Okay. Ah, yes, I didn't. Double tens, that's not enough to do anything. Nope. You just kind of clip his mustache if he had one. Uh, last up is the one, Man Fang. All right, oh, man, bang. my swarm. Do it to it. All right, that didn't hit. And that's a one. Hey, I'm going to return <laughs> the favor. That's too much damage that did. Jeez. That's Felix. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Damn. Half damage. Half damage? I think. Oh, no, sorry. That's a five. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I think the say, smartest, smartest <laughs> thing I've done today is stay the hell away from everybody. Wait, same thing. Did you add your bonus to that? Because that seems awfully low. No, I added my bonus. Shut okay. the hell up, Copious. <laughs> well, I could do a few other things. I could have gone in berserk and just done more damage. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I could have gone berserk. I'm going to do that. Uh, You're on your own for the swarm. 
Mm-hmm. Top of the order, Haggis. How about I spit acid? That'd be good. Also, yeah, under- copious. He could breathe fire, right? Yeah, I could uh, August, fire. you are behind Robert, who, if he doesn't pick up the pace, is going to crack the right side as well. Um, so, so yeah, Ro- yeah, Robert, Robert, there's water below us, and you're pretty tall. So, how far is the drop for Robert? Because he's a little taller. About 120 feet, I believe. It's still okay. 120 feet. It doesn't matter how damn tall he is. Well, like, you know, he might be a little stronger to the fall. He'll, just, he'll make a bigger splash. That's all. Poor <laughs> area of effect. <clears throat> Maybe if we tie a rope to a rock, we could shave Maybe down. If, you if you tie a rope, it might fall. Well, we can't go. Th- there's no other Why way to go just, except this way. Why don't you just pencil dive down? Maybe you should Maybe run on ahead of him. Maybe you'll get hold minutes. on, hold on. I'm going to cast a spell for all of you. <laughs> um, if two, I what's two getting? If I throw a rock down the water, can I tell how deep the water is? You guys I already, already threw a rock that. down. Well, like, well, that doesn't You're mean 120 that... feet away from the water. You're not going to be able to tell anything. Seriously, it just looks it dark down there for you. Big, great, you know. No. I'm, I'm moving. I'm keep moving. If it's cracking, I'm moving. But there's no other place to move except the water. No, the, there's a the path yeah, still goes on, and he's running down the path. One path oh. is broken. Oh, I two. thought it was just a ledge, and there's water. There, I, oh. I don't. Oh. Okay, then I'm gonna go on the path. Keep moving. Dang, pushing his buttocks as you go. Well, uh, like I can like walk through his legs, can I? You probably can't reach his butt dogs. Uh, yeah. Guys, give, me a, give me a dex check. Okay. <laughs> acrobatics check. Fumble. I'll give you acrobatics. Just Let's say fumbling haggis. and tripping. Uh, Beard fingers, haggis. Acrobatics. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be 27. Fun fumble than it stepped on. Robert Haggis is now in front of you. Leave 30, <laughs> 20. You're up. Um, how far away am I from the swarm that's on Manfang? I'm not aware of any distances here. About eight feet. About eight feet. Mm-hmm. I'll step up and swing at him with my battle axes. You're going to have to swing your battle axe over Felix's head. He's yeah, between us? Good. Yes. Oh, okay. Good I think yeah, you could do it. No, I think you could do it. You could do it. No, not going to do it. You want to say it. I'll, I'll, step, chomp. <laughs> I'll step up next to Felix. Probably not smart either, but hey. Wait, your turn. Uh, can I get next to him and swing or not? Yay or nay? Yeah, you can. Okay. Well, then I will do that. Have to do it one-handed. Okay, one hand. It's I've got two one-handed weapons, so so just one, one one attack? Them. Okay. Yeah, only one of them. Uh, it's 15, kind of a lard ass. <laughs> 15 hit him? Uh, 15 does hit the swarm. Okay. Let me find, I think it's... Felix, you feel leave swarm breath caress your lobe. <laughs> Is Copia still stuck? Yes. <laughs> uh, stuck and bleeding out. Eight points of damage. Oh, oh yeah. That, 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 that knocks out the swarm. So the swarms are now done. Copious, uh, you and I have uh, rolled equally. You get to take two more hit points of damage as you feel blood trickling down your leg. Uh, give me a, a perception check and a D12. D12 perception? Uh, D12, then perception. I rolled a two on the D12. I rolled a four. Uh, your perception is most likely going to show right about here. Do I see a crack starting? Yeah. Uh, can I talk at all? Oh, yeah. Then I'm casting a spell. Uh, as long as it doesn't have some monic no somatic components. It's a sure. verbal spell. It's Misty Step. Ah, nicely done. And Where are you going I, to Misty Step to? If I if I can see the other path, I'm going to try to Misty Step right behind Robert. Oh, yeah, you can do that. That's I'm blowing a spell to get out of this mess. Wise choice. Poof, you are gone. I can see you getting shredded up when we jerked you up out of there. It'd be uh, funny if the if the silky thing like landed right in front of him. The spider was coming back up. 
while he was stuck there. Don't give me my ideas, Agus! Because it'd be kind of funny. Cool, right? No. Opius, uh, you land behind Robert. Give me a perception check. Uh, 21. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Cracked. Go. <laughs> Uh, but you notice Robert is shrinking. Finally. Uh, Wait, did Robert, his weight increase or did he just expand? He just, well, both. Oh. Density. His density was uh, improving. Uh, Robert, give me a perception check. Fifteen. Uh, you notice Haggis is zip between your legs and is running hell bent down the incline. You also feel different. Your armor might need to go and wash, to like shrink or something. Oh man, is Tropius I, right under him as he shrinks? I feel different, but I don't <laughs> know exactly what's going on. So I'm going to keep on continuing down, trying to get <laughs> down and out. Right Robert's Agri. chasm tea bag is not going to occur at this point in time. Uh, five Felix, uh, covered in guts, uh, leaf nearly cut your ear off, uh, but instead, I love you. Uh, his <laughs> crushed across your neck, causing the hairs to rise. Well, I'm gonna try to shake these confused feelings that I have, and then <laughs> I think I will follow everybody yep. else down the right side path. I have Haggis, Robert, Copius, Felix. <coughs> man, man thing, you're up. Uh, I think I'm going to start running, but I also found out that I have a bonus as I'm running. I also found out that, wait a second. The second wind mean I have to take short rest, then I regain health as well, more health? Uh, second wind is you take the uh, hit points. Okay, so can I use second win now while I'm running, or do I have to like stop and then go? Yeah, I'll let you run. All right. Um, you're, you're near the back, so it really doesn't matter. This is a die 10, right? Or am yeah. I mistaken? Yeah. Yes, okay. That is five plus five, that is 10 health points back. Uh, okay, so Leaf, where are you jumping in? Uh, I'm at behind the Felix. I'm the rear. Uh, bringing up the rear of the... So you're going to let Manfang pass you? Yeah. Okay. Haggis. I don't really want him behind me. It's all right. <laughs> Haggis, it's getting steeper. Uh, you're moving down. Is he still running? I, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll move to a walking, fast walking pace. <laughs> okay. Uh, Traveler's what, pace. Kind of moving down, winding away, darkness on both sides. No wall, no safety railing. OSHA's going to condemn this place. Uh, and you reach a T in the intersect or a T intersection. Uh, and you feel choices, give me an choices. give me an insight check. Um 16. As you turn around to catch up to your uh, compatriots, you notice Robert has returned to his normal size. However, as you turn around and stare at him, you see uh, about his kneecaps. So that is about how steep this incline is. Uh, and you can hear everybody because nobody said the word stealth, and I wouldn't expect that. Uh, the whole group appears to be coming behind you. So it's uh, kind of like a slide? Almost. Okay. Uh, but you guys suffered no movement uh, penalty. You were here. Uh, as you get to the T intersection, it kind of levels out uh, because it's kind of at a peak. So once you cross to into the T intersection, it will continue to go down on either side, left or right. Is there enough room for us to gather at the T so we're not all off the edge or anything? Gather-ish. Okay. Uh, then I, 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 I suggest Leaf comes ahead and Jaguar is one of the ways down. Leaf will not be able to make it in there unless you guys move off. You can put one or two on each uh, split and one or two 
uh, on the path you're on. I, I can cast magic again on some rocks and roll them down. <laughs> yep, let's do it again. Hey, or I could. Nah. Why don't why don't um is it like is it like abyss dark or is my vision able to work? Here to do it, old man. No, I can't. Is it a what? Is it like dark enough? Night vision won't work, or will it? Work? Is it dark as an abyss? Abyss. It's where the hell's my hand? Okay. Yeah. Um. So I'm casting light on two rocks. Maybe if you cast on one rock and throw it one way, and I'll walk down another way and come back. I already cast the magic on two rocks. Okay, I guess we're doing that. So, well, you have to roll. Uh, oh, Frank. <laughs> Twice. 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 So, my first one was a one. Second one's a four. So four and three. Go. I rolled a one first, four second. No wild magic. All right, I'm going to roll the rocks down each path. Well, roll one down one path so we can watch it. When we lose it, then I'll roll the other one. PBA, go ahead and uh, hit with your dexterity. Come on, Dexty. Woohoo! 17 with the first one. Roll a D10. Right. Yep, roll a D10. <clears throat> roll a D10. Roll. Five. Uh, it goes 50 feet before rolling off the edge. Off the left or right side? Yeah. Okay. Second one. Roll the dext. Roll the dext. Woohoo! 18. Uh, D10. Eight. Goes 80 feet uh, to the right uh, and sits in the middle. Sweet. So the one way is a little more of a level out. Yeah, and then the other way is more of a steep decline. To the left is a steep decline. However, the rock went off the side. So you can tell that there might be some movement in the trail. On the right side, uh, the trail is true, and it has hit some kind of an obstruction about 80 feet away. And the left, remember, would take us back in the direction that spider fell, too. Mm -hmm. All right. So we want to go that way. Of course. <laughs> of course, he's going to put the enemies in our path. That the makes enemies, sense. The that enemies in the path have already been chosen. <laughs> so the closer we are to enemies, the closer we are to the dragon's treasure. Oh, yeah. So who wants to make the decision? Go right. Right. Which one's right again? That was the I one where the rock stopped, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll go right to where the rock stopped. So I'll just grab the rock and hold it. That's okay. right. The rock stops here. Uh, everybody roll perception check. 21. 19. Woo, 24. 24. 20. I'll roll for man thanks since he and I have similar rolling ability. <laughs> That's a natural one. Uh, so everybody <laughs> except man <laughs> can hear water lapping along the sides. Uh, best guess, the natural 20 says it's maybe 20 feet below you. Uh, oh. About. All right. Uh, but where there's water, there's a bottom. Is there a way to attach that glowing rock to the front of my shield? Do you have glue? No, but I have mend, but that's only if something's broken. Well, yep. up, up here. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it in my hand okay. and walk and keep walking. Yeah. No, 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 no. <clears throat> so you're leading the pack. I'm gonna lead the pack and keep. My on. duck could eat it, and then the duck would be like, you know, dead. Or I could shove it up your duck's butt. <laughs> that that would also make the duck glow. <laughs> you go about another hour. The water below you uh, either rises or lowers, depending, because the path undulates. So you're going up and down, uh, just like you would above ground. It uh, must have been hilly territory here. Uh, but the water, you can hear it as it crashes into the bridge. 
Uh, and it, if you look over the side, you'll see that it is not just the path, it is connecting to something below. Uh, after an hour, you come to a crevice and I will take initiative. Uh. Actually, I will not take initiative. I'm sorry, that is that is incorrect. I will take perception from the first person, i.e. Robert. 17. Movement ahead, uh, contact. Mul multiple movement or just? Multi multiple movement. Uh, Could be and, spiders, y'all. And something is on the trail ahead of you. How far Could would, would I say? 30 feet ahead. What's the width it? of this trail? Uh, eight feet. Oh, eight feet wide. Okay. All right. I'm going to roll the rock a little ways ahead, as far up as I can get it to go. You need me to dex roll that? Yep. Robert, why don't you just start a bonfire in the middle of the trail? 18 on the dex roll. <laughs> Your rock uh, rolls to, oh, that was magic, wasn't it? What? Or no, I had a glow. He already had the glow. No, I had the glowing rock in my hand. Gotcha. Uh, it rolls up into what appears to be a baby doll. A what? Y'all going what? ahead of me. I ain't playing this game. This is a horror. Yeah, we're done with this. I'm out. What was it? A baby what? A baby doll. What appears to be a baby doll. Like an Annabelle doll or something? Yeah, more like Chucky. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Is the baby doll <laughs> laying on the path, or is it standing there and, with the rock? Yeah, on top? yeah, is it like sitting? Laying. Okay. okay. See, it's like just, it was dropped. The, the baby doll was just dropped. I oh, want to okay. pick it up. Oh, I want to yes. pick it up. Go check out that doll. I want to pick it up. Is it a human-looking doll? It is not a human-looking doll. See? It resembles an insight check, please. Yes. I've never seen an insight check. <laughs> 17. Oh, hell. 18. It looks Eight. like a very pale 22. elf. Uh-oh. Like leaf that? looking? Drow. What are Drow. they called? Drow. 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 Dark elf. Yep. Underground elves. I want to pick it up. Go ahead, Haggis. I'll stand back here and hold, and hold my shield. <laughs> Uh, I assume I, I did as much perspective as I could as it was laying there. Like, there's not much to do. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and give me a saving throw versus charisma, please. Mama! Mama! <laughs> Copious or me? You. You, oh, you okay. picked up the doll! <laughs> Same thing. <picture. laughs> um, 17. Okay. And then I don't know what the... <clears throat> 17. I'll go with that. Well, whatever the charisma bonus is. I don't know where 17... Charisma? Yeah. Oh, yeah. then 18. Okay. When you pick it up, the eyes open, open. shut. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what that's what Kill dolls you. do. So it's Kill yeah, it looks like a, a child's doll. Hi, I'm Chucky. <laughs> it gets worse though, because one eye red will rum. Open, the other half of <laughs> the other one red, red rum. rum. <laughs> red red rum. rum. The other one flutters. I guess we keep moving forward. Does he uh, turn around and go, guys, it's just a doll. I just want to know. I want to picture the scene when the uh, creature attacks him from behind. It's just a doll. Like if I'll, I'll put it in front of my duck. It's fine, right? Okay, I do that. The duck hisses and snarls. <laughs> the duck dies. <laughs> Lays an egg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not a female duck. I know it. I know it's not. <laughs> it's it lays an egg. Uh, okay. Are you just hanging on to it, or are you putting it in your bag, or what are you doing with it? I kind of want to hold it in case we find. Um... Oh, sure, that's fine. Uh, it it appears to be a, a child's toy. Uh, <laughs> you really can't be sure what the smell is because you've never smelled a drow before. Uh, but okay, so are you now in the lead, or is Robert still in the lead? Not with is that the doll in front of. Is the doll like me, uh, dusty? Like where it was dropped? Is there like an outline? Like I, I, I don't want to say it was Has freshly it dropped. There? Does it <laughs> look like it's been laying there for a while? Yeah, it looks like it just got dropped. 
Okay, okay. That's why I was wondering. I say we go forward. Keep moving. Who's leading? Robert. Who's behind Hagas? I am. Uh, Robert Hagas. Wait, I have a question. Yes? Before we continue. Don't Drows hate High Elves or something? They hate pretty much everybody. Yeah. Okay. Just was wondering. Just I, for a friend. Be, what, I would think being elfish, I would know this thing. You would you would know it's an elf or, or a yeah. drow. Yeah. Do you yeah. know their culture? I will make or? mention of that. Now, if you believe what the internet says, then I'm just a racist shit pig because I'm saying the drow are evil, but that's what the internet says. But well, I, I am not casting dispersions either way. This is a drow baby doll. Well, and I'm a half elf druid and I don't like anybody. Does that make me evil? Yes. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. I think the whole stable incident makes Hey, what the hell? Uh, the baby doll begins to giggle maniacally. <laughs> Robert, Haggis, and Leaf, I'm going to need you to make some wisdom rolls, please. I, I am picking up that rock as I go by. That's a natural 20, so that's 28. Okay. Um, 13. Or wisdom? 25. I'm sorry. You said yep. wisdom. No, it's 28. That's 14. Okay. Uh, Leaf, uh, yeah. you, kind of, you kind of look forward to where Haggis has that stupid doll and it's <laughs> <laughs> Robert and Haggis rup row and they take off running. <laughs> I'm going to grab the doll and toss it. Uh, yeah. No? Str strength versus strength because Haggis is taking off running. I am. Uh. Yeah, yeah, we yes. you, you two this. are frightened oh. for... What the hell's my strength? Oh, and you take damage. 16. <laughs> 16. Take, uh, go ahead and roll a strength roll, Haggis. Uh, you and Robert take eight uh, psychic damage. Um, 17. Eight? Nope. He, he, keep, he keeps you the go. doll, and you know what? I'll, I'll say it right now. You're lucky. <laughs> uh, Robert, holding the light stone aloft, is being chased by Haggis, and you can hear in the darkness. <laughs> 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 and they're just running. Uh, you four. <laughs> what the hell? What, the hell? <laughs> what do you want to yep. do? <laughs> I'm going to run after him. I don't know. I want to know, is there any, I, I'm in my head calculating, God, is there any way I can boost my Misty Step to get me the hell back to the throat house and leave them all here? I don't know if you jump You're screwed, dude. Yeah, Copious, Felix, and Manfang, you didn't hear the laughter. You all saw Haggis pick up the doll. You don't know why they're running forward. But it's pitch black, and the light source just went running the way, right? Yeah. Correct. Correct. <laughs> and you're on an eight-foot trail. And Robert may or may not have told you I made contact <laughs> before they found the doll. He so didn't say anything. Something's out there. <clears throat> your light source is gone, uh, and Leaf just took off. So half your party is split. Wait, so I can produce flame as one of my cantrips. So I think steel. that's just a flickering flame that appears in my hand. Mm -hmm. it's like a cantrip. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. So that's what I'm going to do. And I've never done it before. So let's see what happens. Fair enough. Now, where were you in this line? Were I think four? I was after me, I think. So yeah, I was five. after Copious. Yeah, I was number mm -hmm. five. Okay. Uh, remember in the uh, never-ending story when he, he produces the candle? That's how much light you see. Uh, but you see the back of Copius's head because he's in front of you. Oh, you see the top of it anyhow. Yeah. And right here, right here is a pale face with pointy ears looking at you about the same height as Copius. Uh, Copious and Felix D20 against me. Oh, God. 
And that is an 18. <laughs> Natural 20. Five. <laughs> there we go. Opius is initially stunned. You are, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's some elf thing, some elf mutant bloodless SOB right in front of you with a headband around her. Uh, behind you is Man Fang. Oh. <laughs> Singing Highway yeah. to Hell still. T- totally totally yep. oblivious. He's still uh, humming that song. Uh, Robert and Haggis, uh, give me another wisdom roll, please. Nineteen. <clears throat> Eighteen this time. What was yours, Robert? Eighteen. Uh, after running twice your movement speed, uh, you can't remember why you were running in the first place. So you stop. Uh, a moment later, <gasps> Leaf catches up to you and chastises you vehemently for running off like jackasses. And all three of you hear, Bubba! that sounds a lot like Felix. <laughs> and I'm going to tell Haggis, Throw that thing away. But why were we running in the first place? The it wasn't doll. because of, it wasn't because it, of the doll, though. It was the doll. Do I still have the doll the in my doll hand? And throw it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw the doll. I'm grabbing it and throwing it. Uh, Haggis is going to fight you off. He doesn't want that doll to go away. Well, like, do do I, or is like, is it? You do off? not want that. Okay. Is your doll. Baby. Okay. Not optional. Twenty one. 11. Robert rips the head off the doll and throws it and you hear bloop, and you can now call it Wilson because it's bobbing around in the <laughs> underground lake. <laughs> I guess you, however, have the rest of the body and you refuse to give it up. Okay. Uh, that's right. Or now you can throw it away. It doesn't matter. You can put a potato on it if you want. So it has no more effect. <laughs> Shove your all. duck's body and, inside and, the body. And of call it Spud. Head sticking out. Ooh, ooh, take the clothes off and put them on your duck. That's a good idea. Yeah. You should, yeah, I, I'll do that. Yeah. You like that one I saw down the road on that goose. <laughs> you guys do meth? Okay, so no, we're, we're not, not on it right now. Well, I, I, I think we heard Felix. We should probably go back there, even though. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. We'll head back. Uh, go ahead back, but Felix, Copius, and Manfang, uh, you are face to face with a drow. Uh, it appears to be a female. Uh, give me an insight check to see if you know how old it is. Right, looking for its dolly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> something is. 19, I assume. Uh, 14. <coughs> uh, what is a perception check? Insight. Insight. Ooh, I'm pretty sure my insight. Ooh, what's four? That's a 19. Uh, it's an adult of some kind, an adult female. Uh, just, just your size, Copious. She raises <laughs> a, a single <laughs> hand and points out, I mean you no harm. I am here for my daughter's doll. Oh, God. Oh, it's coming. I, is it on my duck, like, ripped up? It's <laughs> <He's> coming. <laughs> 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 oh, how, how a task for you to that duck. <laughs> well, like, uh, it's not like my du- it, whoa, 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 you aren't there. You're <laughs> the right, other, you're right, you're other, right. Felix, dig out of this hole. You're right, you're right. Felix is just going to say, what doll? When we heard you coming, uh, we, not specifying, uh, decided to evade, and my daughter has dropped her doll. I have come to retrieve it. I would so like it back, please. We will help we? you find it. We will help you find it if you tell us about where it was dropped and what it looks like. Uh, she gives a pretty descriptive... Oh, yeah. 19. She gives a very good description of what it is. Size, weight. Uh, points out that it is a family heirloom. Uh, 
Mm. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> What's that feeling? That's a noose. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Copius will start looking looking for it. He'll ask. He'll ask uh, what the what uh, you know the, the person's name is. Her name. And introduce himself. Go. You may have heard of me. Uh, no. <laughs> Alora yes, has not heard of you. <laughs> really? I'm surprised. Yeah. I am yeah, not. because everyone throws the beer in the trash so she, uh, they could find it. <laughs> what? <Can> you... <laughs> <laughs> she probably thinks you're a goblin. She uh, she actually asks on even eight. She asks Felix uh is that the dragon spawn you have with you? <laughs> How does she know I have a helmet on in a turtle shell? I don't know what dragons look like. No, you smell. have a, yeah. You smell like a, a dragon. It's and a circlet. Scales. I think he has a circlet on, doesn't he? A poison, uh, uh, poison protection? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's got yeah. a circlet. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Felix will respond with, no, that's not uh, the dragon that lives here, not any relation. They're just, he's just a little slow and a little ugly. Wait, no! Oh. Distant cousin, Felix! Helmet. We're helping it, find the horde! It's distant, distant cousin! cousin. Oh. oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking it's, about. It's trying to, it's, it's his long forgotten son that's trying to find his way back. <laughs> oh, my. I'll back. take off my helmet. Oh. I'll, talk, I'll take off my helmet and say hello. This is not going well. <laughs> This is not going well. Hello. I have not <laughs> Opportunity. I, I, I'm surprised. The dragon had a brief fling with a large turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I brief? have a loud child. I that went on for with dragon turtles. Uh, yes, we need to find my daughter's doll, uh, or I can let you go. Well, we're happy to help you find it. Uh, you may... Uh, we got waylaid by uh, giant spiders on the way here. They're everywhere. Yeah, uh, so she, she then perks up her ears and hears uh, the three amigos lumbering back. Lumbering. I, I would like to think Hoggins is holding his duck in front of him. That's that, right. that is my next question. But Where is your duck in the uh, baby doll clothing, It's Hoggis? back. It's well, hiding it. If you think about it, I never ever said I would hold it. So it, it is kind of just trailing behind me this whole time, right? Dressed in the baby doll's clothing? Well, it's a duck, so it's like a neck, sort of. It has. Fit? Yeah, that, that's a good question. We never tested out the size. It would fit. It, oh, would, yeah. it would fit like. Uh, <laughs> Hog clothing. That. Oh, oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's your dog, isn't it? Yep. Well, uh, well, you dress, you play dress up with your puppy. Mm-hmm. Well, it's Waldo. I got to find him. No wonder you constantly try to kill things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got enough cuteness in my life. I need to kill stuff. So, uh, yes, your duck is trailing behind one, me, dressed in the baby doll clothing. Does she see the duck? Go For the natural 20, what? he sees the duck. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Uh, can't see it. That's all right. We know what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like failure. Uh, she. Here, baby. Where is my daughter's doll? Who are we talking about? He's looking at you, right August. <laughs> well, 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 we have no memory of a doll. We found these clothing in the water. <laughs> yeah, we found these clothing in the water. Deception, Hoggis. Okay. Um, that better be a dex roll or you're in trouble. Uh-huh. It's a charisma plus four. <laughs> 18. I know. D12 against me. Three. Two. 
do. Oh. She, she will not check to feel if the clothes are wet. <laughs> yeah. Well, that thing has a habit of returning, so hopefully it will wash ashore. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, Felix is going to pipe up there and say, what? <laughs> <laughs> just don't tempt him. Just no deal. Quest the habit the clothing. All I can think of is the clothing is going to strangle the duck. And then the clothing <laughs> is going to drag itself back while the, while the inside of like the duck's dead body. I'm going to ask this, the drow in, in Elvie's ship, she's seen, seen any other adventurers down here. Yes, there have been several groups. Uh huh. <laughs> they are all searching in Elvish for some kind of horde. What kind of horde? Did you, did they say? You they. Know? It is rumored that it is a dragon's horde, according to them. I have not made contact with them, but I have overheard their conversation. Huh. dragon horde. Huh. I have now, never heard of would... such a thing. I know there's dragons in these mountains. I haven't seen any, though. Have you seen I any have... dragons? I have seen one. Mm. Not close by, I hope. Uh, cinnamon uh, has not been seen in several days. Cinnamon? Cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd that hate to run. Call it. Yeah, I'd hate to run into it. Which direction do you normally see it at? I don't want to Oh, it's at the far end. Far end. Is she pointing in the direction we've been heading? No. <laughs> the other end. You guys are over here. Yeah. <laughs> ah! She's pointing over here at number okay. six. <laughs> okay. Does this, uh, how far does this lake go? Uh, I have not been to its far eastern shores, uh, but it does hook up to a citadel uh, a few hours away. And maybe we'll head up that way. We've been exploring the old ruins. Citadel of what? Uh, you didn't citadel hear of no, you heard Elvis chat. Speak Which, Elvish! Way, I do speak Elvish. So do oh. I. Uh, it's okay. an old citadel of man. Uh, is it the collapsed? I'm wondering out of character. Is it the collapsed one we were in before? She gives you the name of it, and it is. That's kind of the direction we need to go. So, well, once you get to the citadel, you know how to get home. Yeah. Once we find them, all, all you right. got to do is cross the lake. Yeah. That the wouldn't uh, know of any boats. Is that you? what she's talking about? The lake that's below us? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we don't. We do not uh, fish in these waters. They're very dangerous. Uh, the waters are dangerous. Oh yeah. Yes, they have lacedons in them. Wait, what? Look up lacedons. Uh, the, El the the Elvish speakers will know ghoul. Oh, okay, ghoul. Mm -hmm. About this, how far does this path that we're on now go? You know, uh, this path goes uh, to a junction uh, that goes north and south. Uh, there's an archway that extends a small portion over the lake, uh, and if you go south, you will get to the citadel. Uh, unless that rock formation has broken uh, in about two days. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Well, uh, thank you so much for the information. <clears throat> you are welcome. Hopefully uh, my daughter's doll will return. May I have its clothes back or were you going to keep them? I guess uh, give, give her what are you talking to? <clears throat> talking to you, the, 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 to uh, give us me in those general. Clothes real quick. I'll say, give her, give take clothes. the ducks, the clothes off the duck, and give them to hey, Lady Fulford. Daughter. 
<laughs> Give me those clothes back to me. Does he, did you hand them to me? I'll take them off myself. Okay, no, I'm just saying, give me the clothes real quick. Why? I need the clothes before you give them back to her. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle them with water. Let me wash these off for you. Get He had that nasty duck in them. I apologize. Oh, yeah, do mend. Do Let mend. Rink them out a little bit. He's, Here he's making sure that they're wet to correlate. Damn right he is. He knows the uh. DM well. <laughs> <laughs> I know there was a screw job coming. I'm it's not still, saying yay or nay. It still <laughs> might be coming. <coughs> well, well, she takes especially it when she beach. finds the head on one beach and the body on another. <laughs> so, it, just in conference with the group, we're going up to this junction. Going back, I don't think is is going to work. Well, if you if we get back to the citadel, we can make a quick. Quicker trip to the what is that the east end? Do we have the Frank, money? I, I looking at the map, I couldn't tell. If you get to the citadel, it's a day and a half back to the roadhouse. Well, we got to go to the city. We need to get to the other end of this chasm, though. Which direction is that? So where Cinnamon lives? Yes, east, west. 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 Okay. Got, so we got you guys keep... are in the eastern quadrant, the northeastern quadrant. We Cinnamon need to get to the west. Somewhere in the western quadrant. All right. So that's the direction we need to go. Well, let me ask this. When this teed off, which direction were they heading? At the T, was there an east and west? Was it north and south or just kind of? Oh, that's a one, good question. The ones you guys took or the... Yeah, you remember how we got to it? We teed it. This it was one, the rock railed yeah. off, and the other one, the rock stayed on it, the direction we're heading. Was that east and west, those two directions? It was. So the other direction's heading west, west. towards so let's, All right, well, we'll go back to it then. Correct. Okay. Uh, she wishes you safe travels and just disappears into the darkness. Okay. Yeah. Let's head back to the team. The fastest way out of here. Uh, we should have asked her the fastest trip. way out of here, but she's gone. Oh, well. You could have. Uh, could have, but then All of you kind of think you hear a small child crying. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, let's 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 head back to the T. It's better than dying, so. <laughs> True. Uh, so another hour back, uh, and then, yeah. Two quarters. Uh, another hour or two. Uh, there's an archway, like a bridge. And there's, uh, you can hear the water running underneath it. Okay. So it's it's a steep incline on this bridge. Uh, if you've been to Florida, you know which bridge I'm talking about. Yeah. So, the Skyline Bridge or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it, you're going to have to trudge your way up. Once you get to the yeah. top. Who's leading? I'll lead, and we need to roll for magic again. Hey, can I chant my rock again? I got to make sure it stays yeah, lit. Copius wants to make a suggestion that uh, if Leaf is a couple paces back, that he also casts this so we don't get caught yeah, in the same line we had last time. I can go ahead and do the same thing. I'll cast light on a rock and hand it backwards to whoever's. Bringing up a couple. You mean behind me? Oh, I dropped the rock. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, so you've got light at both ends. Yeah. Uh, you start to climb. You can hear the water crashing on the rocks, some shoreline. Uh, and everybody, perception check. And 24. Natural 20. 19. 18. Felix, man, man. Oh, man thing. Okay. roll 20 side perception oh. check. That's natural 20, baby. Everybody but Felix hears something rise out of the water and smack down. Uh, you can tell it's maybe under the bridge. Sperm whale. Blue whale. Uh, well, like a crystal whale. on crystal, like you said before when that spider. No. Like a giant eel. Slap okay. out of the water and slap the water. Oh, okay. Not a problem. 
Up at the get... top, Robert, are you leading this? Uh, yes. Uh, give me a straight up D20. That 20 again. Uh, as you start to crest the arch, you notice uh, some missing pieces here. Your gap, gap is 10 feet. I'm going to relay it back. 10 feet. 10 feet. 10 feet. 10 feet. 10 foot gap. I'm going to look behind myself and say 10. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I, I can jump across and we can do the whole rope business again. Yes, jump across. <laughs> okay. You have fallen into the mouth of a whale. No, jump down. So. Well, roll that, roll that jump, Jonah. All right, just a second. Leaf has found Find the Nautilus, and he's now a kidnapped prisoner. Hey, hold on a second, Leaf. Yeah. Tie this around your waist when you jump. I'll, I've got a rope. Make, make it easier for the dinosaur in the water to eat you. That's right. Well, it'll distract it while we jump. While we bait, jump, that's true. Bait the druid. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you fishing with? I'm fishing with druid. <laughs> Not just any druid, I elf druid. The greatest druid. What what elf druid? Greatest. Greatest hating druid there ever was. What is that? Uh, acrobatics or? Yep. How about an animal handling? I got a plus eight on that son bitch. Well, if you want to wait for uh, the whale to come up, maybe you can jump off its nose. Ooh. Hey, have you seen that scene in Jurassic World where the dinosaur comes up like this and grabs and then pulls back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Or, or Jaws. Or Jaws. So what is a standard jump? Oh, six feet. Okay, well, then I'll... Right. I'll what what I'll, Olympics I'll were you I'll jump on myself. All right. That triples my jump distance. Sure. Yeah. All right. You, you should be able to make that. That's a dex? Yep. Acrobatics. That'd be uh, 18 and 1, 19. Uh, you leap over the gap easily with the rope attached to you uh, and slide a little bit down because this is the kind of gap you're looking at right here. Yeah, so right. It's kind of steep. Uh, but you make it to the other side. Give me a perception check. Uh, 23. Off in the distance, you hear water lapping again, but it looks like there's a lampshade, some kind of a luminary device moving slowly across what you believe to be undulating waves. It's a, uh, oh, one of those anglerfish. Fish, an anglerfish. Charon pulling across the sticks. Uh, everybody else sees that Leaf has made his leap. So is there anything uh, over uh, anything uh, over here to tie a rope off to? No, nothing. Uh, it, all right, I'll drive a. Of it, you know what I'll I mean? drive a python in and tie it to it. Let's see how stable that is. Sur survival. <laughs> survival. Yep. Let's see if we right. split the bridge. That is a twenty-five. Yeah, you're pretty sure it's sturdy. Do I need to drive one in on this side then? I wait. I I want to vote that the two lightest suckers go ahead and cross with you holding it, and then you drive it in. Have Manfang hold that. He can be the anchor. Nineteen. Uh oh, oh I Man dropped Fang. it. You know, I'm bigger and stronger than Manfang, right? Nineteen, 19 on my side. Enough. Yep. So you have the All tight right. rope. Yep. Well, All right. we have a secondary rope. We'll, I rope it. around Copious, and he'll try to go across, and then you'll have a second rope over there. Go ahead and give me your acrobatics, Copious. Well, I've been rolling so well the whole day. so That's why you got a rope around your waist. 26. Yep, you make it over, hand over hand. Uh, Leaf helps you up. There are now two ropes there. So... 
You give it enough slack, you can make <laughs> one taunt and one kind of like that. <laughs> who's gonna who's gonna dance across that next? Come on, who's who's dancing? Man thing. Come I'll on, dude. I'll do it. Hang on a <laughs> second. Copious, give me your perception check. Or we have two tight side by side and you crawl with your yeah. hands. Yeah, I hear shit. Nope. All right, I'll go across next. Okay. As an 18 plus what acrobatics? You're fine. All right, good. I made it across. Give me a perception check. <laughs> 19 plus 4, that would be 23. You see the illuminary on some kind of raft or boat. Uh, you can point it out to Lee if he saw it too, Copious. I'll say, yeah, man, Fang, I saw it too. We need to be very leery of that. Who's I'm gonna, does it look like it's on a boat? Maybe I should yell to see if there's anybody raft, there. Flat, raft. flat bottom boat or raft? No. Flat Maybe raft. I should yell to see if there's no. anybody there. No. Wait, did you point Best. out Copious or not? Not yet. Point out. Yeah. Hello, welcome okay. Go ahead, Felix. Hello. Uh -huh. Come on, Felix. Uh, 24 on my acrobatics check. Perception. Ooh, seven. Yeah, you don't see it. Uh, yeah. Next, Haggis, I guess. Twenty six on the acrobatics. Perception check. Um, twelve. You don't see it, uh, Robert. Are you gonna walk across, or are you gonna be a real man and cut it and swing over like Robin? I'm pull them out, and I'm gonna tie myself to it, and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna. Oh wait, the jump's ten foot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I. I'm gonna yell back at Robert. George, jump, George, just George, did, you, jungle? did you already pull the ropes out? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Let me jump over and I'll cast jump on you and you can jump. I'll jump back. One. Say, no, that's a uh, eight. What did I get? Plus one? 18. Oh. 18. Okay. I'll cast jump on Robert. Okay. Jump back across, Leaf. Damn. One. Is 17. Name. Okay, Robert, make your leap. <laughs> are, one, now, are one, you tied one, with one. the rope at all? He's got he's got the ropes tied to him. Well, my first roll was a natural 20, but I have to take the worst of two. Why? For acrobatics, which still turned out to be 22. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, uh, to make it harder to get back. <laughs> Why did I take the ropes? What if we need the ropes again down the way? Yeah, we got we can't afford to lose any more damn we're ropes. Man. Planning on coming back this way, right? Uh, no. Apparently we assume not. we're going to die or make it out on the other yep. end. Yep. We're you just bet. assuming we gotta find a way out. We oh. have to assume we can get out because we don't have time to come back this <laughs> way. <coughs> All right, uh, we'll keep moving then. <coughs> it's getting kind of late as you reach the bottom of the uh, St. Louis Arch. Uh, you find a, a rather large plateau here. It has some stones, some shale. Uh, I, the cliff face has returned, uh, but there's a trail that's leading somewhat up. Uh, yes, and that's the only trail that you have. But you're quite tired from a very long and disastrous day, i.e., End of day five. We're gonna be really pale when we get out of this. Yeah, true. You're, like a drought. you're gonna you're gonna need to eat bananas. <laughs> Did you say uh, when yeah. or if? Both, I guess. Can you? Can I tell? Are we still heading the same direction we started off in towards the west, off towards the other? Uh... You are headed west. We Do we. I can west. tell that though. Yeah. Okay. What else did you guys deal with? Uh, the crystal spider. Bad uh, crystal storm spider. spider. We think the crystal spider is dead. A, freak, it might a not. freaky doll. Yeah, doll, baby. The yeah, doll. creepy doll. Okay. Oh, Annabelle. We found the, uh, Annabelle. Doll. <laughs> what was Chucky's girlfriend's name? Right Chucky. Tiffany. Is that what it was? 
Uh, so, uh, are you guys ready to set up camp for the end of day five? Yep. Yeah. Now, yeah. Do the rest better. of us see the Carol. boat with the lantern, then? If they point it out to you. I will well, we'll definitely we point definitely point it out. It, it's yeah, a good, good 300 point. yards off, okay. uh, and the light is about yay big around, so maybe it gets larger, maybe it gets smaller. Uh, but uh, Nicholas, what'd you think? I had a pretty, it was pretty fun. It was really funny. Yeah, you say that now, you're in for a shock next week. <laughs> Am I going to have dreams of that, though? A little bit worse than that. I used this doll at Gen Con at uh, the, uh, one of the conventions, and uh, let's just say it's going to be a memorable thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh uh, man. Yes, it wasn't Taco Del Toro. It was Tequila Estates. Uh, kind of memorable. Uh, little Frankie, what'd you think? I thought it was fun. I got to hit stuff. I hit stuff well for once. For once. <laughs> yes, I hit everything. Rolls. I mean, I connected with everything except for one, one I missed. Except love. You didn't connect with love. I didn't connect with love. And that's no. the most important connection. Other than that, I thought it was hilarious. Frank, thought... what'd you think? <laughs> that Frank? You, Frank. You, you Frank. Frank. I'm senior. Mental Frank. Yeah, you point down. That's right at my dad. Yeah, that's dad. Uh, oh, the... not really. I'm, I'm up here. Yeah, he's he's right there on mine. <laughs> oh, and uh, he's uh, over there. I, I thought it was great until the confusion at the end with where I am in the Brady Bunch group. Uh no, I, I really didn't like the doll. The doll kind of freaks me out. I thought that was pretty funny. I have nightmares about those type dolls. Well, it's, after it's, watching certain it's, movies. It gets worse. <laughs> Wait, I just want to know who again pulled the head off the doll because I think that's going to be a critical piece. Mm. Robert. Robert did. I wouldn't have pulled the head off if he just freaking let it go. I, I couldn't. Now the doll is going to pull your head off. AJ, what'd you think? I had a good time. Had some good laughs. Uh, I found out that my armor is vastly inferior to the rest of my party, and I need to find better protection. You know, for a couple of gold, I can cast a shield spell. <clears throat> There's a reason you and Copius nearly die every time. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that. You guys are saying, wait, I'm AC 24? It's like, what? How the hell? Robert reminds <laughs> me of a player I had who had an AC-24, thought he was invincible, and his favorite line was, hit me, bitch. <clears throat> One day, I hit him with a storm giant with an at 20. <laughs> and I used different rule sets at that time, and uh, that changed his mind. Uh, Frank Sr., what do you think? Um, yeah, I can see where that would. And I've got that shield spell that I don't, I thought I might have cast it on me with that big spider if it had got close to me. But I finally got to use a lightning <clears throat> spell. I am so happy you didn't hit your save. It was nice for a change. Oh, that, that thing was going under either way. You didn't kill it, uh, but you knocked it off the ledge. So hey, that's good enough for me. You, you might know see it's it coming later. back. Yeah. It's Jason, gonna be coming think? back with a headless doll riding its back. Yeah. Oh, you guys like, have no idea what's coming. Why do you give him ideas? It's fun. Oh, it's no, trust me. Uh, the cursed baby doll, it's been used a couple times, and uh, I'm here yeah. to tell you, you have not seen the last of that thing. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> I think the cursed baby, the highlight for me, one, Apache Chief literally destroying the path as he ran. Was class yeah. walked, 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 walked. He walked heavy foot lumbered. across the, the lumber, lumber. Uh, so between that and the baby doll, I have to go with the baby doll as being the highlight, especially when it's scared, haggis, crap stained, crapless, and Robert, and they go running off in the dark, leaving the entire party in blackness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think the visual of that one will be haunting Robert's nightmares tonight but uh folks this has been margu campaign thanks for joining us follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot shit about D, &D 
join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap. The link's down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot like Saturday, which I think we might have a one-shot this Thursday, not sure, or on the Tuesday talk show, MHO Inc., Twitter, or Gmail, uh, hit us up. We will get you on there. Thank you to Pirate Dog Dice for dice that really kind of tested the party. And uh, since we didn't stink, we didn't have to use Adventure Sense. Uh, that also makes the shine system and how to RPG with your cat. Uh, also, if you're going to Gen Con and have a few hours to help them out, they will pay you or give you some swag. And that is at oddfishgames.com. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. We will catch you on Tuesday between the rolls. You know the drill, guys. Bye.